Welcome back to the Coach's Show with Coach Tommy Ties. We just saw the first half highlights that uh, had a couple of uh, uh, real inspirational things. The onside kick was phenomenal right there. Uh, Clark Pryor, I mean, you, you talked about it earlier in the season that it was going to come. Uh, John executed it perfectly. Clark Pryor just stood there and waited on it. Well, you know, that's it's been a good play for us. Yeah. You know, last year, John and, and Clark uh, worked together on that, and uh, John's gotten very good at it. Mm -hmm. You know, getting that big hop, you know, off the turf, and uh, Clark, uh, you know, puts himself in a position to be, you know, where he needs to be. Uh, but, uh, you know, hey, we're, you know, we're down 42 to 3 yeah. at the half, and uh, it's kind of tough in there in the old dressing room, you know. People, uh, you know, people say, "What'd you tell them?" Well, then what can you tell them? Mm -hmm. You know, you're a man. Go out there and play like a man. Uh, don't accept this. You don't have to accept this. Uh, it's a choice, uh, and you need to react accordingly. This is adversity. You need to react accordingly to adversity. Uh, it's part of the learning process of you know playing these games. Uh, then Coach Jones gave me a uh, gave me some good motivation through the <laughs> official that uh, uh, you know I certainly used. Uh, he sent word over that. Uh, through the official, I don't know if Coach Jones said this or not, but the official said it. He said, uh, well, do you, you know, how do you want to play the second half? I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, Coach Jones said, well, you know, we just call this thing off. I said, well, well wait a minute. Uh, we're going to play. Yes. You know, the game's going on and we're going to play. You just tell him to get on the field. I've got him right where I want him. That's right. We're ready you know, to go. So let's play ball. And I thought uh, the Goblins uh, go back out there and, and uh, played, uh, played hard. Showed some pride. Uh, in showed the second some half. pride, and that's what you got to show. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, sometimes you run into a bigger, stronger, faster foe, more talented foe, but you don't have to accept it. You know, get up and let's go. You know, I don't know how everybody else was, but I remember my dad, uh, a World War II veteran, uh, had arthritis so bad. Uh, the last times he was sleeping in the living room on the floor in front of a little old space heater that we had, and the only heat we had in the house. And then he would get up every day at 5 o'clock and go to work, and the man never missed work any day. Hey, show some toughness. Get up and let's go. We can all do that. And I think that's one thing lacking in our society at this time. I think that we need to be proud of being tough people, that we know how to react to adversity, and we know how to fight through things that, that uh, you know, aren't so pleasant. You know, everything in this life's not, not just... Uh, it ain't always easy, and it know, ain't always just handed to you. you got to fight for it a little bit of you it. you got to fight for it, you got to react to it right. And I was proud the way they reacted second half. Well, let's look at the highlights of the second half as Ian's going to bring these up. We, uh, we're we going to get the ball. We had uh, we did, we won the toss thanks to the class of 70. Uh, yeah, they had a <laughs> bunch of people there. Gosh, they had about 100 people, uh, you know, out of their class. And, uh, well, they got great, great coverage. And Clark did a great job just hanging on the football. <laughs> We're going to take over a seven-yard line. This is tough. Pull it out here. Come on the option play. Clark makes a nice cut. He's got some moves. And uh, he's going to pick up about uh, five yards for us. Dorman again, running hard, trying to get it to that extra yard. Boy, Richie did a good job on Vota that time. That's a nice job, Bruce. Come off tackle. First down. Out over the 21-yard line. Drop back in the pockets. We got uh, Covan open out here. Got to execute the throw. Run on the bootleg. Throw it down here to Jeremy. Nice play. Up now the 45-yard line. Moving the football. On the quarterback's uh, what we call McFadden. Nice play here. Now, we got a little conversation going on here between 17 and, and Tate and uh, they're going to call it on us, but uh, just keep in mind, always the second guy gets caught. There's a little jawing going on. This was a nice play right here. Under reverse. This is a great effort. This is just a great effort. Gets swung around, mm -hmm. reverses his field. There's Chris Ryan picking up the block. Here comes Dorman. Nice job there. Good block by Covan. Mm -hmm. Here comes Brooks. And there's Dorman, and there's... Uh, Richard Richie, lineman coming down, you know, coming look, down to help. You know, and what that tells me is everybody's hustling, you know, and uh, uh, that's the right thing to do. Keep playing. So we come out there in the, in the very, uh, you know, first rattle out of the box, handle a very high snap. It's a it's a world we don't have a fumble there. The oh, way Stokes geez. has got to go up get it, and he, it's such a tight handoff formation there because he's got to give it to Dorman and right back to Johnson. Watch old Jeremy go. Stiff arms number 43. Steps back inside, cuts inside of 17. Inside of 16. Touchdown. 
Touchdown Goblins. Nice job. I do like that. You like camera. that? I saw uh, Ian out there, I believe, on Friday morning putting those things up. Yeah. And uh, we got them all hooked up uh, into the ball game in, in time for uh, for that, and that's a nice little feature that will stay up there. The camera, the wiring was put in when the stadium was put in. We just not had a camera out there. And, uh, Great so we, defense right so there. So we've right gone right. out and done that. Yeah, that was really good. There's big Brandon Davis in the middle, and there's Mitchell and, and uh, Cody Hale. Nice offensive play there. And there's Sandifer, their number 10, knocking on old John. I tell you, old John was tied up with him. Sandifer's been there too long, too. See, he's a <laughs> sophomore starter for him three years ago also. There's Here's five weaving his way. I mean, my goodness. We turn him back inside, and the pursuit can't catch up with him. You have to attack these type of backs. If you freeze when they make a move and you don't follow through uh, with your uh, – with your what you're doing on your tackle, they're going to beat you. So they come back, they answer like a good team does. Uh, they answer our score with a, with their score. There's a couple of guys you uh, you're not going to be disappointed to see next year when uh, when we no chin I'm, it up again. I won't miss Voda. <laughs> uh, these are good players, and good yeah. guys. I won't miss Sandifer or Hogan. Those are they're all good players, but they'll reload. You know, Jones tells me before the game, said, well, we ought to be in 6A. I said, we've known that for a long time. Because <laughs> I said, you're not telling us anything we don't know. And, uh, you know, there's no love lost between uh, Greenwood and Harrison or Greenwood and anybody. And I'll tell you, like I told you before we started, Greenwood is the one public school the privates don't like. Don't like. <laughs> you know, they don't uh, – uh, they need to do a lot more things right than they do. But, uh, you know, hey, you can't, uh, you can't argue with the success they've had in their football program. So Tate picks us up a first down. And we have to throw the ball out of bounds. And that's all right. Don't mind that at all. Well covered. Uh, you know, live to fight the next down. Nice job here. Watch little Coban. He's going to fight fighting. you now. He's going to fight you. Come back and stick that foot in the ground. Good job. Pick up that first down. Nice job. Great job of the Goblins moving the football. You know, I think they're doing really well. You know, they're hiding their bro. You know, hey, you think it doesn't hurt to work all week long and come out there and get whipped? Yeah, it hurts. Sure it does. But I'm very proud of them. There's a reverse again. There's a nice block by Colliver, but we don't get to block on the perimeter. You know, when they come in there and cut us, you, everybody's block is important. Throw big pass here to John. Moving into Bulldog territory. So we went for a touchdown on the first drive. Now the mm -hmm. second drive, we're coming back and got things going a little bit. Now let's just finish. We do have him behind him a little bit if we throw the ball outside. You can't throw the ball inside. So they pick it off. We string it out. Miss a tackle right there. Uh, just uh, It hurts your heart to see people diving around.